Hey everyone, it's Desi. I currently and today only have four shades out of the six about, um, I, new Diamond Crushers lip toppers. I currently only have four shades out of the available six. Um, I didn't get Choke or Lit. Um, I was on the website for Black Friday sale and I'm a broke college student so I got what I could. And I have the shades Dope, Fluke, Trip, and Strip instead to show you today. Um, if you would like to see a video on Lit or Choke, um, just go to any other video on YouTube. This is going to be more of like an in-depth review on the product, um, like the consistency and how it wears, what you can wear it for, um, and sorts of things like that. So without any further ado, I'm going to get started. Okay, so you may know that Line Crime has a little bit of issues with controversy, um, and these aren't excluded from that. Um, there was a YouTuber named Adley or Atali, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but she had an allergic reaction um, from these products and her lips swelled up after swatching only a few of them. That was cleared up. She um, met again with the company and they did some testing and they found out that it happened to be the scent they used for the product that had caused her allergic reaction. So it's just very important when you try a new product to test it on your hand or some other part of your body first just to make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction to it. Um, I know a lot of the times we just kind of get so excited and we put it on our lips and sometimes that's not a good decision, especially if the product has a new ingredient in it that you don't know about. So just keep in mind to test things on your hand before you use it. And I just wanted to let you know that that was all cleared up, the controversy for that is over. Though I know a lot of people um, kind of avoid Lime Prime because of the controversy they usually have. Um, today the color I'm wearing is Fluke over a NYX Soft Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. Uh, these are lip toppers. You can use them as just plain lipstick or you can put them on top of something else that you have that might complement them. Or I've heard even people of using them as eyeshadow or highlighter whatever you want. Uh, of course I'm not going to wear this the whole time though because I'm going to be doing some swatches on my lips as well so this will be coming off in just a second. First I'd like to get started with the packaging. Um, the outside is just pink lettering that's kind of shiny and iridescent um, and it fades from like a light baby blue to a light pastel pink. Um, there's nothing really special about the outside of the boxes. It kind of is just basic square box and it has like the iridescent color marker on top. All of them are the same color though. They don't have any differences there. Um, taking it out of the package, this is like the best part of it in my opinion. I think they totally nailed this packaging. It looks so shiny and so festive. Not really festive I guess. I'm just in like the Christmas mood if you couldn't tell by like you know the giant light bulb necklace but it's so metallic and it definitely fits um, what they were going for. It has a regular doe foot applicator at the end of it. Then I just wanted to show you guys all of these outside of their packaging. I think a lot of the colors complement each other very well. This is all of them together. We have Trip, which is like a bluish purple. We have Strip, which is like your bright bubblegum pink. We have Dope, which is like a champagne color. And finally, I have Fluke, which is like a rose gold. Um, I think the packaging is very solid. It's nice and heavy, um, and it's definitely pretty. Like, there's no way I was gonna just like completely miss out on this because this was way too adorable. And I am a sucker for metallic lips anytime. Um, I swatched these all on my arm for you guys so you could kind of see how they look on just regular skin. Um, I kind of put it on wrong, so, but you know, just bear with me. I'm going to insert a picture of what they look like in better lighting. Um, first we have Trip, which is that purplish blue, like, kind of your basic default thought of iridescence. Like, it's really, really out there and bright. Probably not like an everyday look, but definitely something that's going to stand out. And then we have a fluke, which is that deep rose gold color. I think when you put it on the lips, as I have it on here, that it's more of like a baby pink with blue reflex in it. Um, on the skin though, it does look more like a like rose gold champagne color. 
And then there is Dope, which is definitely just like plain champagne gold. Um, on the lips, it's a little bit lighter. And then lastly, there I have Strip, which is bright, bright Barbie pink. And I did not know it was going to turn out to be that bright, but I'm actually pretty okay with it. Um, it's definitely pink to the core. There's no other colors in this one. A lot of the other ones have like reflex of like pink or blue or purple, but Strip is just plain pink all the way. So starting with the lip swatches, I'm gonna cut out here and go straight into taking this off and putting on the first one and I'll be back to show you guys what I think and how it applies. Okay everyone, so the first one I put on for you guys is Dope. This one is by far, in my opinion, one of the easiest shades to apply. It goes on super smooth. This is like the one coat wonder in my opinion. Um, all of these that I'm testing on, I am just doing them by themselves. I'm not putting anything under them. If you want to see a video like that, um, I'm thinking about making that as my next video. Is kind of like some combinations and different options you can use with these um, versus just putting them on by themselves. Um, this one is definitely more like gold on the lips. I think that this could be worn by itself or with something else underneath it, but I kind of really just like it by itself almost. It's definitely, I want to say like the optimal New Year's Eve kind of Christmas party look um, that I'm going for this season. Compared to the other ones, the other ones applied a little bit, I don't want to say chunkier, but they had a lot more glitter in them which made it a little bit harder to apply. You kind of had to like dab them on a little bit versus this one was just whoop on which I would definitely prefer because it's so much easier. Um, they all have this very strong strawberry scent. If you don't like strawberries it might be a little bit of a turn off to you but I love that candy strawberry scent and I definitely think that makes me want to wear it even more. <laughs> They're definitely a little bit drying but I think it's almost worth it because you don't get this kind of look every day with just any type of lipstick. This is something that I think is definitely completely different from anything on the market right now. I know there's a lot of things like glosses out, like Sigma made the lip switch um, topper that was that iridescent kind of holographic look, but I feel like this is more of just a perfect frosty metallic glitter that when people see that they're gonna be like whoa what has she got on her lips because it looks awesome okay so this next one that i have on for you is in the shade fluke and this one i believe out of all of them is probably the most natural look i mean i guess like if my lips were naturally metallic this is what they would look like um it definitely has some blue reflex in it as well as like a light pink I think this is probably the most wearable as far as every day since it does kind of almost match your natural lip color. But on the other hand, I guess like your natural lip color isn't metallic, but it still is definitely a more natural color compared to the other ones which are like bright pink and bright purple kind of thing. Um, I definitely like this one most for probably an everyday look with like the brown eyeshadow that I have on and I probably wouldn't wear this to like anything formal though I feel like it would be weird to like go to like a business meeting and have this kind of look on but I don't think anyone would do that anyway or is that just like my thinking that I need to like warn somebody from doing dumb stuff Anyways, that is Fluke, and the next one I'll be trying on is Strip. Okay, everyone, this next one that I have on is in the shade Strip, and this is the one I was talking about where it is just a solid pink color. Um, this one is definitely <laughs> the brightest one out of all the collection, and it kind of just makes me want to break out into song like, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world of imagination. Creation. Okay, moving on. Anyways, um, this one is definitely one of the hardest ones to apply, I think. It has a lot of chunks of glitter in it that you kind of have to, like, soften out, and it really helps if you, like, you know, do the whole, like, thing with your lips just to get it smoothed out. Um, it's definitely not 
undoable or not wearable. It's just, I think that this formula is a little bit thicker than the other ones and it needs like a little smoothing out to be applied evenly. Um, this one I probably wouldn't wear every day since it's so bright, but I do really, really like the color. I think that this one is definitely the most flamboyant right besides Trip, which I'll be trying on next. Okay, everyone, then last but not least for this video, I have the shade Trip on. This is the very iridescent blue shade. It's kind of, well, it's not really blue. It's kind of like a purplish pink blue. It all, if that makes any sense, it all kind of comes in um, an iridescent kind of form. It's just iridescent. That's what it is. It's just iridescent. But it's definitely one of the most out there shades. Granted, Strip is like that bright bubblegum pink. But this is definitely one of the most alternate, alternate, yeah, that totally works. I meant alternative shades in the collection. Um, this one, just as like a side warning, after trying on all these different things and swatching them off, you're going to be like covered in glitter. So just like a warning for you guys that like, I don't know, get like some good makeup wipes or something when you take this off because it is going to be like glitter central. Um, some of them do have a little bit of like a lip stain in them. I know Strip definitely has a little bit of like a pink after stain on there and that's why this one doesn't look as purple as it usually does. This is kind of more like with a little bit of pink underneath it, um, which is going to happen after swatching your lips with a bunch of glitter. Do I think they're worth it? I think is probably the most important question. For $18, which is how much they're selling for on Lime Crime's website, I definitely think they are because this is something that I haven't seen before. A lot of companies come out with like metallics or glitter, but nothing so opaque that it completely transforms your lips. Like this is definitely something that's going to make your lips the centerpiece. It's different and that's what people want is something different. And if you're looking for something that is going to make your lips into like this disco ball party, then go for it. I probably wouldn't wear it every day, but for $18, which is $2 less than their normal velveteen lipsticks, I would definitely go for it. I mean, plus, plus they're so adorable. Like, this is the shiniest packaging I've ever seen. And like, who doesn't like shiny things? Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please hit subscribe if you like my channel and want to see more videos like this. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Um, next time I will be filming at home since I'll be on winter break from college. So the setting might look a little different, but still going to be doing my regular thing. I'm thinking about doing an upcoming anti-haul um, for after the holiday season. I know there's a couple new products that came out that I'm going to be talking about why I won't be buying them and uh, the reasons of why I don't think they're worth it. So if you like seeing things like that, just give me a thumbs up and I'll know that to continue doing these kinds of videos for you guys. Bye!